Hello friends, this video on chemical coordination and integration part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the next endocrine gland that is the pineal gland. So let us see where is it located again. This is also located in the forebrain but it is located in the middle of the forebrain or you can say the dorsal side, the back side of the brain. What are the hormones secreted by the pineal gland? It secretes a hormone called melatonin. And what is melatonin? It is a derivative of the amino acid tryptophan. So this is how the structure of melatonin looks like. Since it is a deri uh, derivative of amino acid, you can see a lot of amine group here. You can see a lot of NH. So it is derived from tryptophan, which is an amino acid. And what is the function of um, the melatonin, it regulates the sleep-wake cycle. Now, before we talk about the function, so if you look at the location of the pineal gland, this is where it is located, a small blue colored gland which you see here, that is the pineal gland in the, on the back side of the forebrain. Now let us discuss about its function in detail. The first function that, is perf that it performs is that it regulates the sleep-wake cycle. So what do we mean by that? In a way, we can say that it regulates the diurnal rhythm of the body. That is, what, what do we mean by diurnal rhythm? That means waking up during the daytime and sleeping during the night. Whereas there is another rhythm in some animals which is called the nocturnal rhythm. That means waking up during the night and sleeping during the daytime. So now in human beings we have a specific sleep whales cycle which is the which is of diurnal type that means we remain active during the daytime and we sleep at night so this sleep wake occurs periodically on a 24 hour basis for example all of us we go off to bed to sleep at night somewhere around some of us go at 9 o'clock some of us at 10 o'clock some of us at 11 o'clock and we follow the same routine it doesn't happen that one day we sleep at 9 o'clock at night and then the other day we sleep in the morning at 6 o'clock for 12 hours that doesn't happen generally right so we generally follow a 24 hour cycle and we sleep periodically so this sleep wake cycle I mean how do we know that okay it is time to sleep so that sleep wake cycle is actually controlled by our brain and it is actually controlled by a hormone which is secreted by a gland in the brain and that hormone is melatonin so the melatonin also helps in pigmentation because of the because of its chemical structure it causes pigmentation uh, it influences metabolism so how do we say that it helps or it, it influences metabolism there are so many processes which are taking place in our body and it actually helps to regulate many of those processes to some extent it also has an influence on the menstrual cycle. So how does it influence the menstrual cycle? Because the melatonin, it is a hormone, right? And every hormone will have a receptor. As I said to you, that hormones will flow throughout the body, through the blood. But not all the parts of the body will get activated by that hormone. Some of the parts of the body which, which does not have the receptor for that particular hormone will ignore the presence of that hormone. Now hormones for, now the receptors for melatonin are found in the pituitary gland, ovaries, blood vessels and intestinal tract. Therefore, it regulates the release of the reproductive hormones in females and that is how it controls the menstrual cycle. When I was talking about the uh, hormone melatonin, I should also tell about this that the production of melatonin is also influenced by the detection of light and dark by the retina of the eye. So it is something like this that during daytime or during the presence of light, the melatonin levels are low in the body. Whereas during the night time when there is no light, the melatonin levels are really high. So depending upon this difference in the melatonin levels in our body, melatonin actually controls the sleep-wake cycle and it also uh, cause pigmentation to some extent. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.